and just like that we're back, man. Today a good day. We got the special, special people from the immediately Ken Folk Podcast. What's going on? We from here, Memphis, man. Tennessee. They in the building. Hey. Get up for my dogs, man. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Hey, what's going on? We here, man. What's up, man? Appreciate y'all oh, pushing oh, up. I love y'all show. First of all, I'm a fan. Oh man. Of the show. I'm, I'm glad to see to be a part of season two. Um, you know, much like in the NFL, you know, when you have a good season, one season, uh-huh. it doesn't mean the next season is going to be great. You know what I'm saying? So it's good to be able to see y'all consistently, you know, holding it down like four flats in the dough mat. You know For sure. Saying? For sure. You know, I like it, man. I, th- I think the great drafting of you guys have done, but putting together Marcel Alexander here, who I who I, who I I've been a fan on, a fan of, uh, way before he was even doing this thing, man. So, oh, I, you know. I, well, real quick, tell us yeah. what he was doing before. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately paused. Uh, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> but let me say, nah, when he, I'm talking about it goes back to the layup record, you know what I'm saying, that he had, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh-huh. uh, I, I've been a fan of musically uh-huh. of this man. He's always been my kinfolk, you know what I'm saying? For sure, and we, for sure. And um, we definitely have had um, many, many nights, man, where we, you know, well, Seattle, you know what I mean, has been my squad, you know what I'm saying? And we I remember being distinctly remember being over at your spot, whatever, with Cody and everybody yeah, over there, man. Like games. watching them games, bro. And like, you know, real a real sports dude, man. You know what I'm saying? A one. Put that mic on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh no, y'all can keep talking okay, shit. Yeah, we ain't like we Yeah, yeah, yeah we don't give a yeah. fuck. We ain't gonna edit it like that. Yeah, no. <laughs> But, but now, you, you remember that time with the eagle it flew in the backyard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you remember yeah, that? That was crazy. Man, listen. All right, so we in Atlanta, Atlanta uh-huh. Falcons, and uh, we's on the uh, patio. They live was, right by the stadium. They live right by the stadium, right across the street from the BN Stadium. And um, so we just out there chilling or whatever, right? You know what I mean? Before the game started, pre gaming. Gotcha. And um, I look to the left, and we, like, I'm sitting here. Marcel was like over here, Cody was over here. I look to my left, man. It was a falcon <laughs> right here where he's standing. Crazy. It was a falcon right there. I I look. I'm talking about like. I'm, listen, I look like I turn and I jump from right here <laughs> to where that camera is at. I'm talking about literally. I leaped. This a real falcon. Yeah, no, a real. That shit was yeah. It was what? a real falcon. That was crazy, <laughs> bro. It was a real falcon right there, and it's listen. And when it spread its wings, bro. Bro, the shit was like, bro, she was I, crazy. You smoke real rapper weed, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I'm, 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 no, I'm, no, I'm no, you, so I you know. were sober. No, nah, listen, and then, <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, listen. Did, did it not happen? No, nah, that was a, it it's all facts, bro. No, nah, hey, hey, no, Marcel was, was on the shit too. The five, the five <laughs> was crazy, dog. Nah, it was crazy, crazy. bro. bro. Like, like I, I, something I never will forget, bro. I mean, I looked up and it was like right there. The Damn. fact that that big falcon could have gotten there and I didn't even hear it, like if it would have, if it would have snake, it would have bit me. You know what I mean? It was Damn. that's how close it was right there. To, but to be up close on one like that, yeah, and it was just chilling, bro. It was just chilling. Like it's like I don't know if it wanted to smoke or what. Nigga, I probably never go on a patio again. <laughs> you know, Mercedes being yeah, stable. Nah, that shit was crazy though. That's why I said, man, Atlanta Falcons is real. So you fought with the Falcons? <laughs> like, listen. I, I, I'm going to tell you this about Atlanta Falcons, man. It's an immediately no. The Falcons, the Falcons, when the Falcons... That nigga crossed the fuck out of me. I'm like, he fought with it's not, it's not. I got to be honest with you. No, like, 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 and, and the thing about Falcon fans is that they are the most, like, if the, I tell you the sky is blue, and they tell you, it ain't blue, man. No, it's, it's, it's black. I'm, they... I don't understand the bind. The I think it's the Atlanta culture that kind of puts a binder or, or some kind of blinds over the eyes of the Falcon fans that make them think that for some reason every year this is gonna be the year because it never it, because the problem is once once Brady did what he did to y'all and I want to say it's to y'all because of the fact that I bet against Atlanta on that Super Bowl and I you did I made some money. Damn. That was a, I, I couldn't wait to get back. I was the only I, when I flew to Houston, I was on the plane and there's all these Atlanta people was going and everybody was you know the Atlanta Falcon. I said, man, I said New England, baby. The whole plane was on my head. 
So oh. look, even when they was goddamn up, listen, the Falcons up 28 3. I was you hosting had a party in Houston, right? Uh -huh. Hosting a party while this was going on. So DJ is rocking, you know, and, it, and it's like one of those, uh, it's one of those, it's a bar spot. So it was like, you know, everybody's out there watching the game in between the commercials. Play some music. DJ's yeah. playing, yeah. we Got hosting it. and shit like that, right? So I'm doing that. And I'm sick to my stomach inside because I've got money on the game. Gotcha. Hell and I yeah. bet everybody in the barbershop, because Atlanta, like I said, Atlanta in the championship, man, everybody. God damn me. Hey, fuck boy, God damn me. Hey, come on. I take yeah, some yeah. of that. Everybody. Yeah. Okay, cool. Listen, it's cool. All right, cash out. All right, everybody. But the whole barbershop. I mean, it's, I went on a, I went there was a there was a Friday beforehand. Uh -huh. Before I left, Mo Grooming, my boy Trill, I tell you, bam. I bet 10 people in the barber shop, 10 individuals, 10 of them that I regulars that I'm gonna see yeah. in there. Okay. And you know you're gonna see them. I know I'm gonna see them, so it's mm -hmm. no getting out the bed. Right. Half time is going on. They, pop, they calling they you. Popping. They popping. Folks, take, I'm getting oh, texts yeah. while I'm doing the, the show, trying not to be lenient towards any, you know, Atlanta yeah. or the, 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 I'm just trying to be because you, know, you gotta act biased. Yeah, I'm acting hosting, biased. Yeah. In it. What's what up with the Patriots fans? What up with I'm doing all that? Knowing you won. Knowing I'm, I'm sitting there looking like y'all oh, Patriots oh, fans looking sick. Everything I'm finna make, yeah, everything I'm finna make down here at this show at halftime was looking like it's finna go to everybody. And when I get home, they getting the whole back end. The whole back end is finna go to the barber shop. Okay, <laughs> immediately it turned around. And it switched. No. Oh, it switched up. Oh, you lit in that bitch now. I was so lit. Listen, I, I left the spot that I was hosting and just drove down to the Reliance Stadium. Didn't even have a ticket. Because what I but I won and the game was over. I just want to go out there and party with everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was, I know it's lit. Because it was lit. And I drove down there. I'm just out there kicking and having a great time. Came back to Atlanta and collected from everybody at the barbershop. Ever since then, I knew. It's not gonna happen for Atlanta, and this—it's it, just that was the that was the closest that Atlanta ever got, and then, and 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 they're not gonna—it's not gonna happen for them like that again. But bro. you know, the only man, I just feel like they ain't want to see no parade in Atlanta. Like they ain't want to see. Yeah. They ain't want to. Oh man, yeah, Come drive. Up. Yeah, it's niggas in Atlanta. We don't. You know how teams go and have three peats and win back to back. Atlanta don't need that. Niggas just need one in yeah. this motherfucker. Yeah. Nigga talk about that shit till they die. Yeah. Niggas, man, it's, it's niggas. It's gonna take about that long to, for y'all to win one. Right, bro. It's still <laughs> niggas goddamn be bragging on the dirty bird. <laughs> oh, God. Niggas still brag on the dirty bird. You will see no, old true. niggas still no, talk about the dirty bird run. Yeah. I'm now when they had Jamal Anderson, nigga, nobody want to hear All that right. shit no more. Yeah, that shit over. For real, that shit done. Gotta rely on the Braves, man. The Braves now, I give it up to the Braves now. Oh, yeah, it's a different sure. energy, though, like baseball and football. But yeah. Braves, I can't be excited if the Braves win. They just won a championship, and nigga. The Braves like, is good, but I ain't gonna lie. Like, uh, when they won. I got that. Yeah, when, when yeah. the Braves won last year, uh, I live right over there off uh, the Divinus area. So oh. I uh, shoot right to the uh, stadium when they won last year. I like going to be, and be a part of that, of the, of the, of the celebration when somebody yeah. wins. That energy just be so. I just. Two years nah, ago, two years nah, ago. That, that, Hell, yeah. nah. It was two years ago, right? Yeah. Mercedes-Benz Stadium, you ain't gonna have to worry about nah, that nah, shit. Nah, 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 ain't gonna be a worry about if that. If they don't get Trey Young some help, they ain't gonna do nothing with the Hawks. Nah. Yeah, that's the Hawks. Yeah, what offseason moves did the Hawks even make? Shit, none. Nothing. That nigga got a couple Sprite commercials. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, hey, that I got a Sprite commercial too. Shout out to uh, Glorilla. Shout out to uh, Lotto. Shout out to Nas. I was in the, uh, I was the DJ. In the 50 Years Hip Hop uh, Sprite commercial. For sure. Oh, yeah, man. I, I, I just got my first residual check. When I got it, I didn't know it was coming. I thought I was on the phone with you. Uh, I went and bought Sprite for everybody. That, that how them <laughs> rich niggas do, boy. Them rich niggas don't pocket that money. I get brothers, you a Sprite, I nigga. I went to the brothers that got Sprite. I got me another meal, nigga. Get a Sprite. Don't lie. Pack it them, For real, man. what I was going to say. Look, tell us about uh, who's Tyrone, how that come together. Um, 2021, when it was COVID, uh -huh. um... I booked that role, and um, me and my shout out to my boy Jewels Taylor. He's from Montgomery, Alabama. He's the guy gotcha. who uh, co-wrote it and, uh, and directed it. And um, you know, he was just like, "Bro, this is gonna be something different, some sci-fi vibes." I was able to read it, and I was like, "Man, I'm just like, you know, I didn't know that the movie would start off with me being the first thing you see on it." Spoiler mm. alert: If y'all ain't seen it yet, yeah. But I was like, just I told him, I said, "Man, this is different. This is a different vibe." 
And then we were shooting it when it was COVID. So it was like, we didn't, um, it was like, okay, you had to be in quarantine. Gotcha. So it was, like, it was in the bubble, basically. Uh -huh. We shot the film in the bubble. So basically, like, you can go to work, you get tested in the morning, you couldn't leave your hotel. When you left the hotel room, you only had to go on set, and then you can come back. You couldn't you couldn't go home. Uh -huh. You have to go back to, to the hotel uh -huh. room. Um, so we would stay in the hotel. And before you worked, you had to stay on quarantine for three days by yourself before going in to work. So you go get tested, stay by yourself for three days, and then you got permission to go on set. So that's the way we shot that movie. You know what I mean? So it was like you at an interview. So we shot for two weeks. And then, okay, so I was off after that. And they said, you got to come back and do this role or this part or this part. So it'd be the same situation. Go quarantine for three days uh -huh. by myself and then go on set. So the blessing of it, though, was that every day you didn't, you had to go quarantine you got to pay for every day that you just sat in the hotel. Oh, and, shit. Uh, hey, that's the own. only reason I went to mind. Listen, when you were saying that shit then, I was like, well, I don't know about that nah, shit. No, listen, you got paid for every time, uh, the whole time, you and if it was, and it was on a the weekend, then it was like time and a half. Oh, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, I'm bro. The game. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I, my, my wife couldn't come see me. Or no, no, your, your family yes. couldn't come see you. Like, that. Like you can have food delivered to you, but you couldn't, like, it, that, that's when the COVID was like, you know what I mean? It was COVID. So we, we sit there, we, that was like, two months of uh, work that really could have been, to me, done within, like, maybe two weeks if it was, like, now. Yeah, but, okay, but, yeah. But because but y'all sitting and yeah, waiting. But, but because of the sitting and doing that or whatever, bro, it was like, you know, we just all had to be... Uh, in, Did you in, know everybody who was going to be in it before uh, you got... I, I knew... Uh, you know, when when I first saw it, it was just, I knew Jamie Foxx was a part of it. Okay. But a lot of these movies, they, they're so... Um, they keep everything under wraps because they don't want yeah. anybody knowing this or that about it. So you won't really find out everything until you get there. And you so see a call there, sheet I'm, I'm going to see that call sheet. I'm like, damn, Jamie Foxx, man. This is okay. They go, oh, from, okay, old boy from uh, from from uh, P Valley in here. Okay, this boy, okay, damn, old girl, okay. And then, but thing about it is you didn't really chance to really get a chance to kick it with the people yeah, because you was on going COVID. So, time. Yeah. yeah, so if you don't, if you're not on scene with that person, you may see them in passing but they was not, they were so strict, like, nah, bro, you, you know what I mean? They had people at the front, like, you need to get in here and go right to your room. They wasn't playing none of it or whatever, and I wasn't trying to mess the bag up. But that, la no. that last day, though, the last day, the last day um, we was like, you know, we, we all thought it was going to be done, and then we was all like, you know, nigga, everybody going to the room, smoking and shit, and just, like, having a good time and vibing. And then they called me back, and it was like, we're going to reshoot the intro again. So I was like, all right, bet. So we, no we, we went shot it again. And um, that but in that movie, bro, well, one thing I realized Hollywood got that money and Atlanta where that money's at. Okay, we were shooting over there, um, over off uh, MLK, kind of on the way. If you on the way to the to the break to the uh, to to the Mercedes, Mercedes, to the Mercedes Stadium, Stadium. Mm -hmm. on the way. All right, so this it's a little chicken spot right on the left hand side before you right before you make that right and you on the same street with the Mercedes. Gotcha, business. gotcha. I know you're right, talking about. Uh -huh. So they jump right there. So we shooting right there, right. It's the hood out at night, and they were like, man, we ain't finna go nowhere. I said, them folks, man, we ain't finna move. So them folks were like, pay us to move. Bro, do you know that these people went and cast out about 20 or 25 people? Some of them junkies didn't even have cash out. And they were just like, man, it's $100. They paid about $5,000 to the people just to move from one side of the street to the other side of the street. What you doing? Get your ass up and win some money, man. Shout out to Broken Play. This your boy, Nav Green, and I got something for you. Look, we matching whatever you put up. If you put up $100, we're going to match that $100 when you use the app and use the code Broken Play. Shout out to Broken Play. You put Broken Play in the prize picks app, and when you use that, they going to give you whatever you put up. So if you put up $39, they're going to match your $39. If you put up $74, they're going to match your $74. Whatever you got to spell, they going to match it. So shout out to you and shout out to us for giving back, man. Shout out Broken Play, man. It's available in over 30 states. 31 to be exact. Because whatever state you in, if you can't, you know somebody in another state. Be family. Let's get it. Go ahead over there to prize pick. Tell them we sent you. Let's get this money together, man. Broken play. I said, man, Hollywood got that money. Man. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just wow. So that was like, okay, that shit is crazy.
But, but as, as for an Atlanta nigga to be like, you got to pay us. Nigga, yeah. these, folk, these <laughs> folk done bought this. Yeah. You know how the shit work? They yeah. bought this. Yeah. And, 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 and them folks like, man, we immediately ain't going, we not going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? We not we not going nowhere. That shit was crazy. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. the experience was dope, bro. Like I knew them. I, I mean, me and Jewel were talking about the movie after we finished it. Uh -huh. I was like, man, this this gonna probably do something because of the stuff about the movie. Yeah, is like so real as far as what's going on. And he was like, man, I don't, you know, he was like, I don't know, man. I'm like, bro, I'm telling you, you got one with this one, bro. It was what's marketing. Telling? It was good promo marketing because okay, it for sure. Do you think the Jamie Foxx situation was real? Or do you think it was promo? About him being sick? Yeah, that yeah, was I real. I think it was real. That was real. Sure. You couldn't... Man, do you understand? People that, that's so, a blessing, though. That huh? was a blessing, but people so conspiracy theorists that they were thinking like, man, bro, really ain't sick, bro. I'm like, bro, no, nah, bro, really is sick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it just so happened, but I'm not saying it wasn't a smart move for them to be able to... It, like find a way to capitalize off of Hell it. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? The that, timing of the it. The timing of it. Yeah, they did that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, but yeah, I was man, I was just, I didn't know it was gonna be I was gonna be the first thing on until until the end until it came out. Uh -huh. And um and I saw that we went to the um to the thing in um to the premiere to the premiere in L A. But in Miami it came out first in Miami. But I was with my son. My wife was uh, overseas and she was like, well, I was like I was going to leave my boy with with Jackson. You know what I mean? My 15 year old was like, look, I'm a I'm gonna go to Miami just to watch the show real quick, whatever. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just stay home. So it premiered at the Black Film Festival first, uh -huh. and I stayed home, even though that was where it premiered. I said, "I'm gonna wait for LA premiere." But when my phone was ringing that night, they I was like, bro, night. "Hey, bro, 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 you the first time with it, bro. Hey, bro, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was going crazy now and there. And when I went out there and saw it, bro, it was like, man, wow, bro, that was that was dope. And even though it's other parts that didn't come, it was in that we did that didn't come out. I think it was dope the way they they used a lot of good parts and um. It was just a blessing, bro. Like that and I was, feel like a championship. Yeah, it, it felt like that, yeah. bro. Like to be able to see something that I'm a part of go number one on and Netflix. Fire. I'm like, man, bro. Like that was that's all God. Like you know what I'm saying? I couldn't do nothing but and, just be thankful. So look, would you? We just classified that as a championship. Right? Yeah. So what y'all think? Would you rather have the money or a championship? So say for instance, they give you whatever you wanted in the contract to do the role. Yeah. But you don't go number one. Many people might not even see it. It might go number 38 on Netflix. But you could get number one on Netflix and you get half of the money. Which one you want? I think I think the kind of individual I am, I will, I will want the chip. Okay. I think, I think because I think like it ain't, it's it's like, I don't, I don't want to do something that no one sees. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like, like. I want to do something that's going to be able to affect the culture. And niggas could talk you know about it for be able a to, minute. To make an impact. You, you know going what I'm money or a chip? Yeah. Immediately give me that check. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie to you. Fuck all that. <laughs> Respectfully though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, about shit. I, I celebrate the silence all day. <laughs> hey, immediately. What's so shit. funny? Cause you ain't got you put some deep thought in it. He said immediately give me that check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I ain't even gotta think about it. Yeah, I, I, I mean, but okay, but look at but look at from this perspective. Though. Okay, you know. but 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 after you, okay, so say you got the check on that first one, right? Now you got a check. Uh huh. Now they come back and say we want to do part two or we want to do another one. Would you still make that same decision just to get the check after you got the check already? <laughs> I mean, you see, my thing is this, like. But see, you know me. You know my real personality. Yeah. I'm laid back. Like, yeah. You out the way. You ain't yeah, trying to, yeah, like, yeah. I got my crib. I'm ducked off, though. Yeah. Like, I don't even like people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> real talk. Like, I don't even like people. Yeah. It's just like, this is going to be me, the wife, the kids. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get some real estate. I'm going to flip the shit out of it and just be low key. Real, I can still go real to Memphis That's nigga, man. Yeah, but, but, but that chip, though. You don't want to have that, that, that chip that, that chip like. Without the dip, it's like. <laughs> You know, I mean, without the deal. That chip, chip without the deal. Hey, facts. Who your, who your favorite NBA player then? My favorite NBA player, LeBron. Okay, stop it. See, yeah, this, 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 see. Day. Me, LeBron, what is it? Please, somebody help this. LeBron. Right, let me, let me, let me, let, let, yeah, let, let, when, when you uh, say, hold on, 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 I'm asking you, you saying he your favorite player, now favorite player of all time. LeBron James, period, that's my now, favorite player. Who's the greatest? Marcel, get your ass up and let him sit down, man. Make our guests yeah, real comfortable, man. Get the fuck out the <laughs> man, way. Man, stop it. The man I came here talking good shit. My brother, man, you a good dude. Man, 
Like you said, you are. Marcel, first of all, if you don't mind, if you don't mind, let me let me rebuttal. <laughs> let me do the rebuttal. I already know this. Let me let me let me let me let me present my case here. Oh God. Okay, guys, LeBron James is a great father. <laughs> LeBron James is a great father, uh, a great husband. Um, doesn't doesn't a great role model for for the for the children. Um, the kids can't read in this school. We need to work on that. Um, but I will say that when it comes to being a, a real goat in the game, one must look at the amount of chips that the goat has. And your goat, your king, mm -hmm. does not have the same amount of chips as, as my king, which is Michael Jordan. So, also, so be a so wait, wait, wait one second, one second. Also... I don't know when the last time I've seen anyone go to say I want a new pair of LeBrons. I've never seen a line for anyone asking. Are they anyone? I mean, I think you can get those shoes at Walmart, possibly. Man, um, fuck. Man. I mean, I, I mean, you going like, too I, I gotta far? Be honest, I got to be honest with you. I've never seen. I'd be I mean, tolerated. the fact that the culture today. I saw LeBron's children. He has handsome young boys, and uh -huh. and, and and not Paul's. He, I, I got handsome young men. Young kings, <laughs> but what I noticed is they on their feet at the game. They didn't have on they LeBron's. On Jordans, they had on Jordans. The impact of Michael Jordan to the culture. If it was not for Michael Jordan, they'll be still wearing those little bitty shorts. Oh, I forgot, guys. News flash. Did you guys see the NBA media day? Did you guys know what jersey that LeBron's wearing now? Twenty three. It's twenty three. That's fine. Niggas it's twenty three. Niggas guys. forget Mike that's, wore twenty three. Let's be. What? No, they don't. No, they don't. Preach, hey, brother. You, no, what? Preach, man. Blasphemy. Hey, man. Blasphemy. Get up out the chair. Blasphemy. Hey, God. Blasphemy. I'm going to tell you this, bro. Blasphemy. Do y'all remember Mike wore 45? Uh-huh. For two years, nobody gave a fuck. LeBron has worn six and 23, and both of them going to be retired when he finished. Do you, well, the do reason you, do why he wears six is because Jordan has six rings. Man, that ain't no fucking okay. Six <laughs> rings. Against who, Six though? rings. Against who? Bro? Against... A, um, yo, oh, oh, let's talk about that. Let's, let's, oh, oh, oh. Brother, oh. you a good man. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Michael Jordan didn't have to concoct and guys, come play with me. Please. Yeah, please, he had please come play with me. He had Dennis Rodman. Over here. Come play with me. Would you please play and with Phil me Jackson. to help me? No. Michael Jordan constructed his team, one team, Chicago, Okay. Chicago, Chicago Bulls. And he was getting smoked in them earlier years. Yeah, he would get smoked. Yeah. He learned how to win. He got smoked so much he had to cut all his hair off just to play. He all learned how to off. win. No, his hair fell out because he was stretched. He learned how to win. Them other niggas playoff, got man. old and retired. He learned how to win. Magic retired. Yeah. Learn yeah, retired. Isaiah retired. They didn't want no smoke with Mike. They listen, knew it was his, his lead listen, now. Listen, the they lead, listen. They smoked Mike. What are you listen, talking about? They did not that. smoke Mike. Mike got smoked until he got No, the, no. The right, let, me, let me tell you something. What? The reason why we I respect, the reason why the respect Golden career. State Warriors is because they team came from the draft. They drafted their team okay. and became champions for the draft. That's what Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls did. They did not... Go get a big three to be able to. They didn't do none of that shit. Dennis so Rodman, Dennis Rodman, Dennis Rodman didn't get and drafted. Scotty though. Pippen, Ron Harper, all them niggas. They came Ron in. Ron D was messed up. No, Ron, Ron, is, Ron wasn't the fuck? reason why they why why they yeah, won no games. Ron was easy. They went and got Ku Coach from International League. They drafted, uh -huh. him. they drafted him. Yeah, these are drafted players. People yeah. didn't come do a big three to be well, able to try to. to the GM, then. Come on, but, man. But we're talking. <laughs> like, come on. Now you want to shout to the GM? Hey, bro. Honestly, man. Anybody out there, stop with the talk. LeBron James is not the better one than Michael Jordan. Okay? League. No, listen. LeBron's legacy, will, he's a great player. Rich Paul and what he's doing. With our, yeah. Listen, but all of that's all great. That. But, but come on, so man. Come do, on, y'all. Do you think the league is tougher now than it was then? Yes. The league, right. No, the league is tougher no, then. you just said, no, bro. No, you no, just said it, right? Up. I'm reneging. <laughs> no, you just, no, you just, we up? have a reneging no, house. No, I'm not reneging. I call it spade a spade. Immediately reneging. Listen, listen, I got a book right here. Listen. <laughs> listen. The league, man, do, have you watched the winning season? Winning, win, winning time. Winning, winning time, yeah. Do, you, yeah. do you remember how, like, how hard they fouled back in the day? Like, That's not basketball, though. Listen, this was happening. It's a part of basketball. Bro, you know what I'm Jordan, talking about. If you come to the lane today, if you 
Man, LeBron is look, going look, against LeBron's a major. Man, he's a he's a flopper. LeBron. He's going against KD going against me like Giannis. The Spurs. Floppy. Tim Duncan, Tim Duncan man, Tony man. Parker, Kawhi Leonard. Man, he going what? against niggas he, like he that. Michael Jordan. Kawhi, 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 come on, man. Bro. Kawhi Leonard. The Spurs? He was scared come of Kawhi. On, who, who was Michael Jordan facing, though, on some real shit? Who was he facing? The, name me some of his hardest competition. He was, he was, he was, he was Penny Hardaway. He, Penny Hardaway. When he was young. And when he was young. The Pistons. The, the, the whole team, the Larry Bird, all yeah. that. No, I, I ain't even saying teams. I'm saying name some of his hardest co competition as players. Listen, Just name, guys, name guys, individuals. Guys, the league I wasn't was, old enough to name. Uh, yeah, I, I, I remember them. I, yeah, I, 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 I can remember. I remember LeBron. Jordan, the goat, who won the six rings. Bro, that's just like... How much y'all remember who he played against? That's like niggas who were bragging Number on goddamn two. Jerry West. Then you go back and look at the film like, what the fuck he playing against Man. niggas who were built they like preach, me? Brother. You supposed that's to go past with, that nigga. That's not with Jordan. It, it, it was... Look, Vince Young could fly. Right? Jordan was still playing. Vince Young was playing. Carter. Carter. Vince Carter was playing. Vince Carter? He could fly. Not, I'm not, saying, no, no, no. What I'm, what I'm saying is... I'm not going back and saying Vince skill, Carter, the skill set. Right. I'm saying skill set. And the, and, it, it's not, and like, it's not like it was and one Vince person Carter that had came high after gym. Jordan finna leave. Right. I'm just saying it was not like Jordan played with people who had hops. Jordan played with people that had the same skill set. Cool. We're not watching cool. Bill Lambeer, I mean, not, uh, Bill Russell versus all these white dudes. No, nah, but like, I'm saying you know who, I mean? who had some of the same skill set? I don't like, remember number two, man. I remember number one. Clyde yeah, Drexler was one. Clyde, oh, Clyde the Clyde was a group. Oh, Akeem Olajuwon. You know, bro. come on, man. Monique. Dominique, okay, I give Dominique you Dominique. Wilkins. I give you Clyde. Williams. You know, that's because y'all from Atlanta, okay. Hey, but, look, but they, they, it's, hard, it's hard to remember they number, they who remember two number two. They named two or three niggas. But, but we can name, name you 30 niggas. Place is the right first loser. We can name you 30 niggas right now right who can hoop. Like, they can hoop in any and, and, era. And, and I can name you, none of them have six rings. It's because it's harder now. Competitive. It's more what? competitive. No, guys. I wouldn't say it's more. It's more skill. I think niggas more talented now. more talented. For sure. Because of Michael Jordan. I think. I no, think because it was harder. This is because of Michael Jordan. Everybody's better because of Michael Jordan. Because people, bro, <laughs> Jordan. Find, find the nigga don't better. make it, make you play basketball oh, better. Boy. No, no. Listen, listen. Jordan make the whole game better. Jordan made everybody better. All right, y'all from Memphis. How y'all feel about Ja Morant? <laughs> yeah, switch it up. Man. Yeah, switch it up. Uh, because Ja is, Ja? I mean, I'm going to tell you something. Memphis. All right, so look. Ja, I love Ja. You know what I mean? I'm going to tell you right now. I love Ja. I love what, what he represents. The problem is I blame rap music for what took place. I blame I blame NBA Youngboy. I blame the, the music. It's just it's just the culture. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I blame the music. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I blame the music. The music is is the, it's because of the music. It, it's, that's what it is, man. It's like you know, guys don't understand the difference right now between I blame the music and I blame Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because because he he just from South Carolina. To, to to what he's doing right now. And then to go to straight to Memphis. To Memphis. That's <laughs> hey, that's tough. I mean, Listen, hey. that's tough. That's yeah. tough. Listen, it's tough to come to be in Memphis. They're gonna they're gonna make you feel like that's okay. Culture. Memphis gonna make you feel like it's okay to do what you're doing. Just keep doing it. And they're gonna be with you <laughs> until it, until you until they gonna, listen in, until you're not. Then that that man trip. Man, they, they gonna turn around, man. We're crazy. <laughs> I told man, I tried to tell little bro, man. I was trying to tell little bro, he should cut that shit out, man. Right, right, but when right, he right. doing it, man, that's my nigga real, man. I'm doing the same shit. Right. A nigga fuck me, nigga, man. I'm gonna pull this nigga up my hell yeah. That's what they gonna do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, but I talk my shit like Ja Morant, yeah, man. Exactly, man. I'm in this shit like Ja, man. You know that's a rap bar right there. It was about it was about listen. <laughs> Literally that same day when Ja did that, it probably uh, was a domino effect of about uh, 800 Memphis niggas that were doing the same shit at the same time. Yeah. At the same thing. All of them on live. All, all, all of them on live. Ran up in the FedEx Forum. What on ran up in the FedEx Forum with a bucket? You know what I'm saying? Because you know that just happened in Memphis too with the FedEx yeah. Forum when they had got shot the inside there whatever. It just, it just ain't the right place for him. But he's learned now how to be able to deal with that. Um, I think also too, like just like being around... Your influences, being all seriousness, like, okay, you in Memphis where we on fire right now musically. Musical, yeah. And then it's not like we on fire for R&B music. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're not on fire for being R&B capital. No, yeah. we're on fire for the drill, for yeah. the, you know, the, for the killings, for the, you know what I mean? For what's so going on. So the beat drop. Yeah, we, we, the beat, the, the vibe. Yeah, exactly. Real, so man. that's the vibe that we're on. So if that's currently being put out there and you hanging with these cats and everybody you hanging with 
is all of everybody strapped up, ready to go. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them is in real wars is going on in Memphis right now between one side and the other side. I ain't saying no names, but that's that's happening. So it's like, it just becomes your you a product of what you're seeing. It's okay. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So any young. Any, any young, any first generation of doing what he's doing, like most of us, all first generation, learning how to do this shit, right. learning how to, you know what I mean? So, you know, it, it grants him grace. He's a great player. Um, I, I I want him to take care of himself mentally and also physically too. Being able to learn how to, you know, he he he, John will go to that to that hole and pause, but he'll go to that and, and just and just and just come on, man. Like he don't just, care who down that bitch. He, 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 he don't care. care. I, I do think at some point in time you gotta like conserve, like Jordan. Jordan when he got older, he didn't dunk all the time. He was like, okay, I'm a LeBron still do. Yeah, well, you're you know, 19. LeBron still here. Yeah, 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 still punching shit. Russell Westbrook. Yeah, he's still he punching. We talking about Ooh, LeBron. He ain't got no Russell Westbrook. Oh yeah, Russell's a great player. I, I I like Russell, man. Russell mentally just got to get it together. Mentally, I, when I went to see Memphis play against uh, Oklahoma back in the day, and um, now, okay, see, yeah. and, and when he was playing with them, and um, and I, I was sitting there front row, right? Mm -hmm. All these folks in Lucas Oil Center, and I'm wearing my Memphis stuff, and I'm front row. One of my uh, my partners was a white dude, Cliff. Cliff was like five foot nothing, but owned everything in Oklahoma. So I'm sitting next to him. Here I am, six foot five with all my Memphis shit on. I'm standing in front row. One of them folks told me behind me, sit down, I can't see. I turned around and said, you got to get better seats, buddy. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Like, I'm not, what do you mean? Sit, sit down. Yeah. So I'm sitting there, and, and, I, and they beat us by like, they up by 30. Coast told West, Westbrook, I mean, come on, sit, just sit down, man. We want to conserve you. Westbrook ass through the chair. I'm talking about, y'all up by 30. It's yeah. over. That man right through there. the chair was upset. I said, okay. See, that was a sign, telltale sign that it's not gonna be no chips coming. Because <laughs> mentally, <laughs> mentally, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you something off a little bit. You a few baskets short of a picnic, just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? He always trying to go back at the fans. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? Like just other night, mm -hmm. somebody came in and said, "Man, you suck ass." Wesley coming back in, trying to talk back to the fans. Yeah, bro, just like the rapper the other day, the rapper came out there, dude was trying to bang on him. He smacked oh, him. Oh yeah, I saw that shit. I said, "Man, Punched so so, so what social media does the same thing that Memphis did with John Morant? Man, he man, bro, he went there, he hard, bro. He yeah. smacked dude. He smacked Until dude. Until it's too late. Listen, mm -hmm. he keeps smacking his fans like that. He heckles like that. You gonna have your career gonna be no, shorter than his knees. Right. Yeah. Your career gonna be shorter than a midget on his knees or a little person on his knees if you do that. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't come back at every heckler who don't like what you, what you got going on. It, but but social media gonna perpetuate it, make you feel like it's okay, it's okay until it's not. But Marcus Smart, that so do you? You yes. think y'all got a chance winning a ring? Oh, we got. We, let me say something. I like the Marcus Smart pick. Can't believe. I do. I can't believe. So Marcus, hey, you know, winning a ring, dude. You wait a minute. If last year Stephen Adams wasn't listen, hurt, listen, it would have been a different situation. Come on, and Brandon guys. Clark. Brandon Clark and Stephen Adams was out last year. Do yeah. y'all yeah. saw how we handled Golden State? We beat Golden State by 50. Oh, you know what I'm God. saying? Like, guys, I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. Now, I know the league is changing. It's changed now. Back but last at that point in time, we could have did something. Now, we get, we're going to get our star back. Mm-hmm. Stephen Adams is, is is okay. Did we make that trade? Did we trade Clark? No, we still got him. Yeah, okay, Clark. All right, he if we still hurt it, okay, if we might get rid of Clark. I think we need to make we need to. Y'all need one or two. We need, we, 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 need, we, need a, we need a three. Y'all need shooters and a three. Bro. No, listen, we need a three. We we need a three. We Yo, need a Dylan three. Brooks was there, man. Y'all have man. No, man, no, that don't, don't, wait, man. Wait, man. Hey, I like I like Lofton. No, y'all like Lofton. Yes, yes, Lofton is good. He's not ready yet, but he's fine. Yeah, listen, Loft, cool. listen, like and, I, and, and I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm a guy that goes to the Memphis. I went to the Memphis Hustle games, mm -hmm. like you know what I mean, the G League game. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I go to those. So games. you were, you were, I'm, so I'm really him. into the culture, like you know what I mean, it, it, what's going on. Lofton gonna be all right. Yeah, Lofton is gonna, he's gonna be, he's gonna be a surprise. This, this might be a breakout year I hope so. for How him. How you felt when Dylan Brooks uh, interrupted LeBron's? Uh, <laughs> He interrupted LeBron's, you know, LeBron when really talking to the media and he just he just messed up his 
whole mental process. Man, he poked the bear, man. He poked the motherfucking bear. He got eight, man. And I'm a, I'm from Memphis, so it, it was. And you knew what was going to happen. And you know I'm a Bron fan, too. So, so you knew, like, you like, why you do that? Damn it. You he know, you, you messed it up for he us, poked man. The you know, and, and he I ain't never heard nobody say, you fuck around, you Why you poked the bear? Michael Jordan, you ain't never had a poking. No, he poked the bear. He poked the bear. And. But that was the motivation that the LeBron needed. LeBron needed. Nah, he didn't need that. No, yes, he did. He See, he older. Him. No, no, the crowd therapy and all that or whatever. It makes you look young. But at the end of the day, oh my god, I, I, no, honestly, he needed some more motivation. He did, and he mm -hmm. needed more motivation. And Dylan Brooks gave him that. Dylan has more confidence than he has skill set. Yeah, right. but he's pulling. Oh, yeah. but he's pulling a move on Houston. And he's a rich op now. Yeah, he's gonna get some money. Yeah, he's, 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 he's he got the Listen, and now, now, and, and what he did to the Finesse to, and, 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 and what he and he went that did for Canada. He put a forty piece. He put, and, 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 a, 40 piece on he put a forty piece on the third string USA. Yeah, talking now, big shit. Talk, talking big shit. Yeah. Now, so he originally from Canada. Yeah, he's Canadian. He's real Canadian. Y'all yeah. yeah. be knowing them niggas Canadian. I ain't know Andrew Wiggins was Canadian yeah, until goddamn. A lot of them niggas be from up there. <laughs> Do you do you feel like it's time for James Harden to go and sit down? Hell yeah. yeah Thank, you, Thank you, man. Man, I'm glad y'all in here. We just Thank got to argue. Do y'all see James Harden being top five shooting guard all time? Never. Heavens no. Immediately, no. Thank you. Never. No. Thank Never. you. Never, no. ever. No. 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 Name the one better than name. Name the one. No. Name the one. The the Michael name. Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Dwayne Wade. I, hey, I Plus, said T Mac. It, okay. T Mac, thank you. T -Mac. T don't don't sleep on T Mac. On, bro. The, only, T -Mac. the only two well, guys. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, it, oh, wait a minute. Is Steph, are we, Steph Point? That's a point. Yeah, they're going to say Steph Point. What about Clay? I say Clay. I put Clay. Clay. Wait a minute, I'm putting Clay. I'm putting Clay. I'm putting Clay. What? He's a small four and he's not he's not better than Harden. Yeah, That's bro. Crazy. He's not I better Harden than Harden. Wait a minute, Harden. Play can't even dribble, bro. Stop. But Harden's Harden better than Harden. Harden can't win. Harden, Harden, dribble Harden, don't make you good. Harden got Harden. <laughs> listen, Harden holds the ball. Harden don't know how to pass. Harden holds the ball forever. Pause. And and and, and, and then just it just I put Reggie Miller in there too. Oh, you gotta put Reggie yeah, Miller. You can't forget about Reggie Miller. You gotta put Reggie Miller in there. Man, them niggas nigga laughed I, I, at me I, when I, I brought put, it up. I put Steve Kerr in there before I put, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, before I put, uh, I put Steve yeah, Kerr in there, man. No before I put James Harden in there. What, what, the, what, the, what the Oregon coach say? Looking for clicks, man. Yeah, that's a, that's a clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for hey, clicks, hey. man. That was crazy. Nah, the game is on the field. Yeah. Y'all wild. I love that coach when he said that, though. They made a lot of sense, too, man. Y'all fuck with Colorado then? Yeah, I like Colorado. I like, I fuck with Dion. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't rolling with Dion, you a peon. You know what I'm saying? Dion, Dion, if, if you don't, if, there is no way. When, when I seen, I'm going to tell you what I didn't like. I didn't like seeing Mace on the other side of that thing over there with a. Uh, with a prime hoodie on. I, know, the, yeah, USC yeah, sideline. Yeah, 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 I, 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 but, 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 that, but Mace has always been questionable to me. Yeah, man. Mace. You know, he's been, <laughs> you, 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 Mace, yeah. He probably don't I don't know, man. Are you right. preaching? Are you, one minute you doing, I don't know. Mace Brown was over there trying to pull one, man. Uh, it, 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 I, I, I didn't like that, but I, I'm going to say that last game, the USC they were game. Balling, though. The USC game, the, the, the adjustments that they made at halftime, yeah. At halftime showed you and everybody else that, look, man, he got first one of all, more year. Shadour, mm -hmm. listen, man, Shadour, wow. Shadour accurate. Gamer. Yeah. Listen. He live for the moment, you can tell. He wants the thing, he wants it. He yeah, doesn't yeah, run from yeah. it. Yeah, son, he better want it. Yeah, he, yeah, he yeah. listen, he, listen. He wants the moment, he wants the ball, he wants to go. If they get a few offensive linemen and a few more pieces and of And that's going to come in the portal. Listen, yeah. it's coming. Pause. It's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to happen. They're going to be good next year. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it. And then the, 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 the first of all, from one eleven already, they've already three hundred percent better this year. Yeah. Oh right. yeah, yeah. Already, and then the, the 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 way they are bringing the whole culture there. Nigga, you it's gotta watch lie. the you Colorado game. Them niggas going to Colorado, bro. Nigga, I don't even. Go Colorado. I don't right even now. watch Georgia games no more. Like, nigga, I catch they highlights, so I might look, make sure the no. bet covers. Did everybody <laughs> stay up and watch the game that was late night? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Niggas going to watch that Colorado, Colorado game. I've never watched a, a college game. That, I've never done that. Bro, and we on Ever. the East Coast. Yeah. I'm they, talking about I'm, 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 I'm falling asleep. What Bro, they going to find a way to get it, 
bro, they bowl game gonna be so lit. I don't All care right. if these niggas in the Sun Kiss bowl game. <laughs> <laughs> they, them niggas be in the Final Bowl game. Nigga, we going. Three more games to be bowl eligible. Oh, they gonna get that easily. Yeah. Uh, they gonna, they gonna, they gonna win they they Arizona next next State. Week, yeah. Stanford. Yeah. Stanford, they beat them. Man, them folks being the cereal bowl, they gonna be somewhere. Man, what? They gonna still be lit. They were down 41-14 with seven minutes left in the third, and they came back, only lost by seven. That's fine. Nobody expected that's them no, to I be did. that no, that's close fine. in general. Bro. Like, especially after how they got that. Yeah, that 21 order. another hit. Uh, I was like, all right, Dion. I ain't finna spoil my Saturday. <laughs> I ain't finna spoil my whole Saturday. I think, I think, they, made Saturday. I think like, they proved the point. They proved it, yeah. yeah. Like, they okay, the they might have lost, but like, Come on, bro. Ain't nobody had them scoring that many points against nah, USC. Yeah. Man. Especially with that garbage they had O line. That they, that Colorado, <laughs> your, your O line trash, man. It's trash. So yeah. the recruits for next year, please, Dion. Yeah. Get that shit together. Bro. Yeah, like, yes, yeah. you're doing some protection. Is problems. Because he is fighting the, he is the stigmatism of just a black quarterback running. Uh-huh. Like he's he's going he against. Oh, he in the pocket. Yeah, right. He in the pocket. And, and, just, and I think don't want to feet. Last hey, day we yeah. About that yeah. On our I think sometimes that's why I'm like, is he trying not to show? He like, cause you can run, nigga. He don't want he to. Though. He don't want to. No, nah, he, he, he broke nigga, off for that big run, run touchdown. Run. And yeah. he's scoring out of bounds like he need to. He oh no, get out of bounds. I ain't never tripping on that. What about Miller though? Oh, what's his name? Omarion Miller, rookie. Omarion, number fourteen. Nigga, my new favorite player. Playing with that. Yeah. Yeah. My new favorite <laughs> <play. laughs> Nigga, Ain't I love crazy. when niggas just be like, you, you know what I'm saying? You don't see them and they just like, like nigga, I'm him. Mm. Yeah. I'm telling you. And you, be, and you be waiting for that break. Yeah. Waiting for that look. You wait for things to open up for you to Man, be able to show people. You can people. tell he don't watch film. That nigga just <laughs> 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 that's not good. throw his hand <laughs> up. That's not good. Don't do you say that's not hard. good? Some niggas, some niggas don't know what they looking at. It's niggas in there can watch film all day, Marcel. If you don't know what to do when you get out on that motherfucker, it don't make no sense. Just stay in the film room all day. Watch yeah, them. just get them active. All them coaches. niggas gonna end up being in some assistant coaches because you know how to <laughs> study film real good. <laughs> give me a, give me somebody who got damn gonna perform on that motherfucker. Film. Yeah. They're not for sure. And when you go about that nigga, he ain't look at nobody else. Fact. Yeah, what? not for sure. He averaged like twenty eight yards a, a kiss. Boy, seven kids. He went crazy. Hey, yards. did you see that one? He, he missed crazy. that two point conversion because they said he was out of bounds. Yeah. But did you see that catch? Yeah. Anything yeah. you throwing that nigga? Hey, on the ground. Yeah. Whatever. He <laughs> yeah. Him yeah. Him. I love. And Marcel want the nigga to watch film. Nigga, that take away from what he doing. <laughs> <laughs> so did Dion watch, want to watch, watch film, film though? Yeah, Dion said, man, Dion said. You want to go to the next level, yeah. watch film. Dion yeah. said, Dion said. Dion wanted him to, so he yeah. saw that game. He like, nigga, do what you got to do. <laughs> Dion said, clock the hours, though. Just show up, Saturday. What is that game? What do you mean? Throw that nigga to ball. Dion probably ain't going to see that nigga till Saturday. Saturday nigga, take a week off. Come Saturday. <laughs> do, what, do what you do. What, do what you been doing to keep you focused. <laughs> you ain't been in the film room. <laughs> I right, know you played for the team, man. Boy, that nigga, wow. that number 14, I'm like, what? The first catch he made, I was like, all right. You know, nigga, you know what I mean? Second, I was like, oh, shit, we might got one right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, when that nigga scold and he jumped up, I said, oh, yeah. yeah. You can tell how, how somebody celebrate, whether yeah. they, it was luck or not. That nigga got up like, I told you, motherfucker. Like, right, yeah. Yep. Yep. Any nigga who get up and want to keep the motherfucker and get it signed, no, nah, nigga. That might yeah. be your last one. Uh, <laughs> that nigga know I'm gonna be getting these motherfuckers long as you keep me on the field, bro. Yeah, nah, that's true. Got that bitch. That's true. That I is true. Too. That's very true. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, Y'all both impressed. played sports. Yeah, I played. Um, I played uh, quarterback. Oh um, shit! I played quarterback. Um, but I just got. I, I'm gonna lie to you, man. That quarterback is a hard job. You, you just get hit all the time, man. You know what I mean? I just they're getting hit all the time. Pause. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not. I, I, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I throw this damn ball to motherfucker. Hey, pause. Listen. Hey, pause. <laughs> that nigga said it like four times. Hey, you said ball. He can't go listen. out there, maybe. Right, that's maybe listen, listen, like, listen, 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 listen. Pause, Worthington Junior. Listen, um, I think you got to be built for that. You got your body getting hit uh, all the time. <laughs> Stop with the pause, man. You taking those, taking those. Taking that abuse as a as a quarterback. <laughs> that nigga scared to talk. Now nah, shit, he done fucked it's, it up, man. It's too much. Nah, it's too it's too much though. It's, nah, it's too much, bro. It's too much. Like I I, I would get hit in my knee, um, and then the lineman that they don't block for you. Mm-hmm. I'm not concerned. I'm not I'm not gonna be like your boy from the New York. 
like y'all quarterback. Yeah. I'm cussing folks' ass out. <laughs> what what you know uh, I'm saying? This was high school? Yeah, this was a uh, junior high school. Uh -huh. The high then, then then another thing too. Once I got to high school, the players got bigger. For sure. I was oh, like, man, man, I'm like, man, look. look that man, was stop me, nigga. Tall, bro. Yeah, yeah, listen, tall. First of all, I was what? five. Hold up, I was five nine, five nine, five ten. When I graduated, I grew graduated six. What? I when I graduated from high school, what? Really? I, I grew six inches after I graduated. Got that sky. That's the bullshit. Stupid ass Listen, ain't that, listen, ain't that cap? But my sister Jessica, Jessica Jackson, she had her growth spurt when she was in the seventh grade. She six foot four. What? Got every scholarship. I bet every, she did. Nigga. She ended up going to Florida with T-Bow them down there, uh -huh. hooping. And it was right. like, and it was like she got every. College, but see me at five, at five nine, five ten. Uh -uh. I had it in me, but it just, I just yeah, couldn't. I, you, I, could, I, you couldn't see over the line. Type it, 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 man, yeah. I, and, and, and getting hit, and these dudes is, is man. These, these, I'm from Memphis, right. so it's like, you know, just like Georgia. Man, some of these country folks out here, man, is big, and it's like, man, you talking about you get hit a couple times, man. You want you you miss a block, okay, bro, hey, bro. All right, bro. Guess what? He hit me again. I'm hitting you. You know what I mean? That's it. I'm not finna sit here and keep getting look, hit like bro, that. High school in Georgia, like when we watch our high school teams in the city area, they be straight. But until they gotta go down South Georgia yeah, it's different. and play them teams, them forget. niggas who been wrestling hard and yeah. cows. Do little baby, do, do, I'm gonna say, you know what I'm gonna say? It was like that. Who never lifted weights? Maybe too older for some of y'all, but Bo Jackson. Oh, yeah, yeah. We know Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson Arbor. was just, just a, a physical specimen of just, yeah. then just could just run up a. Do everything. But I, I just don't remember watching him. You know, like I saw his NFL games. You yeah. know, by then, he was yeah. like, he had some injuries and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, but he, he was one of those. But it was a lot of guys like that, like Memphis. When you go outside of Memphis and you start going to Tennessee and Brownsville and all these things. Yeah. Listen, uh -huh. man. These oh, folks out here, bro. Yeah. Them folks, he, he, them, it's just too much, What Bo originally from? Um, Bo is from, he from Alabama. Oh, he yeah, did? Yeah, from both from Alabama. Alabama. Yeah, both from Alabama. Oh. Um, but yeah, man, I, I like it started off as quarterback and, and doing that, and then I just went to basketball because the basketball is a little more finesse, but still without having the height, height yeah. you know what I'm saying? It was Damn, just man, you got that. yeah, then I got tall after I graduated. Yeah, man, that, that shit happened to Dennis Rodman. Y'all uh, ever saw his story? Oh, uh, what happened? Yeah, that right nigga now. grew like eight, nine inches after high school. He 92. was too, like seven inches in like his freshman year at Juco. So. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah, so and Dennis see, was like five ten. I want to say five eleven in college. Then he just kept growing. That's crazy. And that gave him a goddamn. Yeah, I had got a viral meningitis when I was a uh, when I was a senior. So it's like even when I took the, the the my growth stroke started to happen after they started messing with my spine, um, bro. It was like I was done with that. I yeah, was like yeah, I was like it was just, I had to learn how to walk again. So it was like you know what Damn. I'm not even finna. Uh, Mess with uh the, the, that type the, of the, shit. The, the sports no more or whatever and like, stuff. So it was like that that was over with for me. When you getting into the music? Uh right when that happened. Like right when I was like I was doing tapes and stuff back in fourth grade. I used to have mixtapes out when you take one um you know, you back in the day you used to have these these rails, right? It used to be a, on two tape decks and you could record one side and play some on the other side and then uh -huh. record each other. Yeah. I was making tapes uh, off of that. Hard. And I when I when I used to make tape dissing my brother, my cousin them. And uh, and I used to be cussing on them, Johns. And my mom and them, when they heard me cuss on the tapes, they was like, "You heard a kid? What he doing?" You know what I'm saying? They, they didn't. It'd be different like if I'm cussing in the house. Yeah. They would they would be mad. But on the tapes and me doing making music, they respected my my I guess my artistry. Yeah, they feel like you're supposed like, to do it on yeah, that. Yeah, and, and and it was like, and I I said, oh, they could. It's a, it's a difference. So I felt like that was dope to be able to be supported. I can as an outlet to be able to do stuff. So I was doing music the whole time, and then Tony Draper, who uh, signed A Ball MJG, uh -huh. his brother Ernest Draper, um, was like the man, you know what I mean, on on the street or whatever. And, and he, was, I used to have this clothing store that I used to be a, uh, right? It was kind of like how City Gear was, yeah. Like now, and I used to have the popping store, and he used to be in there, and I used to bring Ball and G in there, and I used to be a young nigga rolling with them, seeing how they get that money with their music, and then it's like, okay, now I want to rap because I'm seeing people actually. Get deals and yeah. do stuff. They inspired me earlier. And uh, my best friend in high school was this cat named Eric Gales. He played a backwards strap guitar. He's like one of the dopest guitars to this day. He does tours with uh, Lauren Hill. He was my 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 best homie. 
and he going on our single hall show and all that. Oh. I'm like, man, okay, you can do something. So this shit all the world. Yeah, it's you like, I'm like yeah, it's, it's around me. I, I'm like, this shit is possible. You know what uh -huh. I'm saying? Because that's a lot of times you got to see something to be able to be something. Right. And sure. it's like, if you see somebody around you really doing it, it's like, okay, well, and I don't you realize just, it's only you stopping Yeah, you. yeah. I, ain't, I don't just got a yeah, hoop. I ain't got you know no what I mean? Oh, I, I didn't feel like, okay, my dreams deferred because I got men meningitis and I had to learn how to walk because they had to do the spinal tap and that shit went wrong way and I had uh -huh. to... It, it was just different. So I had to like, I feel, I was like, shit, that shit around. Ball and JG them breaking, niggas from my way getting deals and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, I can do it too. So that kind of inspired me to start doing music and then like, and then taking it from a business perspective because Tony Draper would always school me. Nah, yeah, nigga, man, you got to own that shit. You need to go right. Selecto Hits, man, and put your own shit out. You know what I mean? And that's what 36 Mafia was doing, putting out a record through Selecto Hits, which is a distributor that's in Memphis, and was putting the CDs out. It was in our backyard. You go out Whitten Road and go over to tell them folks you want to distribute some CDs, you can put your own thing out. And that's what, like, Tommy Wright and All Skinny Pimp and everybody like uh -huh. that was doing. So, once again, I'm seeing something, and I'm seeing what I could be able to do, and I'm seeing a way to be able to own it and do it. So, it was more leg work, but at the same time, you know, you could get people to be able to go to the store and buy your music. That's that's why the, that's, that's why I think the people that are in music right now is different. I think the fan bases are just not as, the fan root is not as strong. Because the people that came up from that era of CDs, and they're the people who run the game right now. Like, okay, you say Yo Gotti is doing his thing, right? Well, the people that supported Yo Gotti used to get in the car and go drive down the street and go buy a CD. Uh -huh. So I'm the life album I put out, you know what I'm saying? So I would see how the fans would like... You have to go get that. Yeah, you got to go get that. So those people, if you look at like Gucci Man, or you look at these people that are like Jay-Z, you know what I mean? All the people that are winning are have these, even Beyonce, they, they have bases that went to go buy their music wow, out of the truth. car. That's true. You know what I'm saying? So... So if they co-sign you, yeah, you know what I mean? They, they have a strong base of people that follow them. You know what I'm saying? That's why I love what, what, what y'all do so much. Y'all really go out and y'all touch the people. Uh -huh. Even though we're doing a broken play and doing this show, it's like y'all actually go press the flesh. And they'll see it. And they see it and y'all be a fan root. That's how you really do something. Because if, if, if it's... I don't have a lot invested with you if I can just... Oh, okay, this song I heard today, I shazammed it. Oh, it's just bumping, okay. You got to keep coming a lot of times, coming, pause, to be able to uh, to make me be like, okay, I'm into you. Now, you know, it's just different. You know what I mean? It's just different. It's different. He's red. It's different. So look, what about like with Zach Randolph? Like somebody like him when he was in the city, it was because like he was in the culture and he was hearing about yeah, Moneybag. Yeah, yeah, all right, like so shout out to Head. Uh, Head is Moneybag's CEO. Uh -huh. Head and Randolph, Zebo would be always be together. Head was the one that was holding Zebo down wherever he went to. Like, you know what I mean? Zebo always was a real guy, but he was also a guy of the culture. So he like, you know, he going, he kind of remind me like Steven Jackson. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. Zebo was kind of like that kind of a baller, like where he like, you know, really be in, in great shape with the culture. So Head would be around me when I'm putting out Yo Gotti and, and, and doing records with me, Yo Gotti, A Ball, and Skinny Pimp, and putting out, he was around. Uh -huh. So he's peeping, all this is going on. And then he got the plug. He got Zebo, you know what I mean? Who worth more than Zebo paying people light bills in Memphis. Like he just uh -huh. was that, he's a real good dude. Uh -huh. So he gives Head the ability to be able to start the label, Endless Entertainment, and they picked up Bag. You know what I mean? And and from there, it, it just didn't... It went crazy. It went crazy. Because it, with music, if you got... a Bag has a different voice. Yo Gotti has a different voice. I always say, like, even when I was doing... my thing on the rap side is, like, having a different voice that you uh -huh. recognize. I think that's part of it, of being having a different voice, not sounding the same as everybody else, because you listen to music. So it's like, you know, you listen to it. So if your voice is, is, is a main key, then when you got a bag to put with the music, because... At that time, it's like you could be online and doing all that stuff, but it's something different than when you're really having it and you can put it in people's face. Once again, pressing the flesh, making fans. That's what Bagdon would do. Bagdon would go to the fairs and pass out CDs, pull up in them cars, Zebo pull all them cars out and make that impression and touch those people. And that's how he came up. And like, you know, and, and now they they up up. You know well, what I mean? Because Memphis, like, music just crazy. I remember music. this was probably like 2015. 2000, this before Bad really popped. Yeah. I'm around, um, it was our, our homeboy Terrio. He used to try to get me and um, 
like he'll tell us me fly all us about uh money bag. Yeah. So but like Terrio, like he like if he know you, he gonna play all your music. Yeah. So anybody. So like anybody else, like we I never really listened to whoever you talking about. He was like, man, you gotta listen to money bag. I never checked it out. Yeah. Shit. I checked that shit out on my own. I was like, Oh, yeah. no. He raw. This nigga like that. No, he raw. I was like, nigga, you one for 30. This nigga. He one for 30. <laughs> yeah. this, this nigga like that, though. Nah, for real. No, bag, bag is raw. Bag voice is raw. Memphis is good about, like I said, having good vo vocals, voices. Because think about it, Glorilla. I produced on her album, Get That Money. Um, but it just went gold. Um, Shout out to that. Man, for that sure. Sprinkle you know that saying? shit in there, then. But, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she, but she got that voice. Like her voice, he, her voice sure. is just different, sure. you know what I mean? Um, uh, Dolph had a different voice. Yeah. Uh, Key Glock has a different like tone and voice when he go do his thing and his hype and his turn. Um, uh, Black youngster has a, had a different twang with what he's doing. Like, um, I just think like Memphis is full of different voices, and I think if you got that going for you, and then the beats, a lot of things with Memphis is the beats. Memphis has always had the beats. Y'all all since three six. Yeah, we've always Even had the beats. Even A-Ball, MJ, yeah. Ball, yeah. Led Down. Project Pat. Yeah, always had the beats. We always had the beats. And these beats, beats were from Memphis producers that are really from the streets of Memphis. So the sound. They know the sound. The sound was synonymous with Memphis. So mm -hmm. now you got like Hit Kid, you know what I'm saying, who's doing this thing. You got um, Tay Keith. Tay Keith been fucking these niggas up for a Boy, while now. He's from Memphis? Yeah, he's from Memphis. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Tay Keith is from Memphis. Um, so you got, you got these great producers that are making records from Memphis. That's why I, my, my guy right here, Deron Payne, he, uh, we just got, we got a joint on, uh, we got N.L.A. Chopper, New John coming, um, that was so. Simba, um, we like, I like Simba too, if y'all, from, from the Ill. Bay, yeah, yeah, we got, yeah. we, we, just, we had him on the podcast last season and we got a record with him, oh my God, bro, this record is, oh my really? God, this record is crazy, but like, you know, he, he's, he's a producer and, and, and he raps and he, and, and he does a podcast, so he got multiple hustles. So it's like how y'all how y'all joined up the doodle I, podcast. I, 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 I picked him up back when he was at Tennessee State. Uh, like, he was at nineteen. Like he had a song. Oh, you was at TSU. Yeah, he went to TSU. Okay. He had a song called "A Hardhead." It was like a a dance that was popping um, uh -huh. back in the day. Um, and I went up to the TSU. He was from Memphis, but he was going to TSU. Gotcha. And when I went up there, and uh, he had his own budget. It was like, man, I'm finna try to take this dance and go on. Get this done out here or whatever. I said, I can help you with it. Put it on BET. It was back when One Street Park was still going on. Yeah, and New John the other day, he popped that John off at TSU. Next thing you know, that John took off at TSU and he was performing with the band. Oh, and, yeah. And, and, and that started. band shit, that's different. Yeah. yeah Halftime, uh, shout out my boy Cavo, too. Uh -huh. uh, on that record with, uh, uh, with me. But like, yeah, we, we performed Halftime at the John Mary Classic with the TSU band. They played the John everything. Yeah. yeah. They had linked up with Shine. Yeah. Like, man, we just, Glued together, yeah, but he could, he, he making them beats, so I would get them beats. Like he had a song with it, uh, plays we did Boo Dirty and Don Trip. He always had beats. Oh, niggas so, sleep on Don Trip a yeah, lot. Don, yeah, Don's hard. Don's Ooh. hard. Don's Jelly hard. Rose. Yeah, Jelly Roll. Like Jelly, like, we we, we do, I, he did a producer record with me and Jelly Roll. Jelly Roll, number one country artist out now. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? But it's like we did a rap song with him when he was still rapping. So it's like I've been going. We, he been back. So it's like once he once he moved to 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 here to Atlanta. It was like, all right, bro, let's go ahead and like, you know what I mean, put it together. But I, I always be used to be able to God to help me use me to help people yeah. all the time right. with their craft or whatever. And I'm cool with being that individual, whether it was your Gotti first album, whether it was, you know, whether it's producers getting them placements or whatever. Like, bro, but see, you, I love doing you, that. You talk a lot of shit about LeBron, but you you kind of like that. I'm like, you're just, like you an all around <laughs> player, nigga. Like, 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 yeah, I like, I like to see. Yeah, like you're an all around like, player. You want to see other people win? Very yeah. LeBron. Oh, okay, I got it. I remember. Yeah, listen, I I think like the thing is, I'm one is too close to none. I know that um, uh, I'm I'm always eyes wide open about like music. I always, even when I was an artist, it was like God brought this to me. It was like, okay, bro, you finna, I got a record deal with Universal Motown. Uh -huh. The same time I got the record deal Universal Motown. I sent a tape in the rap city. And the rap, the tape was just saying, y'all should do y'all show like this. And I feel like y'all should do this. My own folks flip. We said, we want to we talk to you about what you said on this tape. And we want to fly you out. I said, don't worry about it. I'm flying myself out. I came out and met with Stephen Hill and them. And they said, you want to host Rap City? I was like, yeah. So I host Rap City for like a month, right? Uh -huh. But when I went to meet with Sylvia Wrong at my first record label meeting after we, you know, that I signed, I said, hey, I'm finna host Rap City. My folks said, man, hold up, what? No, 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 no. You can't host Rap City. They're going to think you a host. 
you, you, you a rapper. You can't be known as a hoe. You know what I'm like? Mm -hmm. So they, they, I ended up doing like two weeks worth of episodes when Rick Ross first came there and all that. And they told me I couldn't take the job. But really, at that point, I was like, man, this TV shit really easier yeah. than it did than the rap yeah, shit. You know what I'm saying? I yeah, my to, face yeah. out here. They put my yeah. face. It's one thing to hear a voice and like you can't put a face to yeah, it. Yeah, but it's like... And you're reaching all markets. Yeah, yeah and I was like, yeah. man, I really wanted to do that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I just knew that, okay, it's cool. You're going to be hot for music and you're going to always have your fan with the people that love you for what you do. But man, being in that hot seat for music, man, you ain't always be in the hot seat. Right. But you can be able to make money off your, turn your contacts into contracts. Uh, mm. And that's what I always oh. knew I could do. You know what I'm saying? Oh. If I could be able to say, okay, cool, bag hot right Why? now. Shit, bag. I ain't finna come say, man, bag, let me do a record with Kia Shine. No. Want to sample one of my old records? Or here's some new beats. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Glow, here, I got a beat that I feel like will work for you. Yeah. I, I'm not finna try to... Make you get on my rap shit. Make you know your what I'm saying? contact. What yeah, you say? Make your, your contact. You turn turn contract. your contacts into contracts. That's a you know ball, what I'm saying. Man. Like you can you that's because it's really the people you know and that you connected. Who you talk to anyway? Yeah, yeah that's really it. it. Yeah, like that's well, we it's, should it's, do business. Right? Yeah, it's like because it's like bro, like whatever you need, and, and I'm gonna take it spiritual because I have to do it every time. But no, bro, my. whatever Let use you. whatever you need from God, all right. He's not here. He gonna make something brand new out the sky. Boom! What it is, it's gonna come through a person. The blessing you're looking for, the thing you're looking for, is gonna come through a person. So that means it's a connect. It's a contact. Uh -huh. So that contact will turn into a contract. So it's like okay, have favor with people, be connected with with the source, which is God, so He can provide your resources. A lot of times, people be thinking, it's, it's them. Okay, I'm, a, I'm so talented. Man, no. It's about you being connected with the source, listening to his voice, and he'll give you the resources. Okay? Oh. And if one resource closed out, it's okay. He's going to bring you another, res another source. Because he does, I praise the blessor, not the blessing. Because I know the blessings can come and go. I don't know some niggas who went to jail over that 2010 Escalade or whatever Corvette, you had to have it right. Uh -huh. Now that now it's 2023. You could be caught dead in that. <laughs> you, you don't want to be in that right. motherfucker, but you don't. That you, I don't you, you, because that exactly, thing. you praising the, that's the blessing. You praising the blessing. Yeah, I'm praising the blessor. You know what I'm that's saying? Real shit. So that that be more my thing. So I don't have no uh uh like no no pride in like okay, I'm not popping on this side. Man, I'm finna go do something over here. I do, I do, I start a podcast. I do anything else, yeah, just whatever. Stay, like, just yeah, to keep, I'm moving. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not I'm saying not stagnant. Sitting still. I ain't doing no. that, bro. I like that. That's when you still, anything that's not growing is dying. I heard y'all talking about like the, you know, what I'm saying like on who y'all taking pick. Do y'all fuck with the prize pick? Yeah, like, like listen, I'm new. Uh -huh. I'm new to the prize picks. I'm new to the to the thing. I lost a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I, like I be, I be, join, join us. Listen, Shit. I be losing, and it's like now nah, I see. Better than all LeBron. But really, it make you. you been... it, it make you. It make the games funner though. Nigga, that's the only way yeah. I can watch listen, it. Listen, listen. Now, Nigga. now I have to have an NFL red zone. Y'all owe me a check because I swear <laughs> I keep bragging about this. I can't watch NFL without NFL red zone. Yeah. And especially if you put the prize picks with it. I got to see all my games I, I need to see everything once. going on. I need to see everything going on. Man, mm -hmm. I, ch I chunked my little bed. nephew off the other day. I'm watching the game. It's a blowout. He was like, this game... I said, man, you don't shut the fuck up. Is that I'm waiting for, going on? I'm waiting for one more catch, <laughs> Yeah, <nigga>. yeah. <laughs> one more catch. Right, I'm watching Bitch, this shit's bigger than that. Shout out to prize picks. No, listen. Listen, I won I won doing the playoffs. That's how they get you. You win one time. You and that's oh, when man. they got me. You're a said, drug oh. addict. Because at first I was just like, okay, I can man, what? He gonna have, yeah, I know he gonna have this. Wait a minute. <laughs> watch this. That shit be looking easy. Too. easy. Uh -huh. Man, listen, LeBron ain't hit a I, I, LeBron punk ass, he made me so mad last year, but I, 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 when I was that's why I don't like him. And I came back and LeBron ass, he just had to hit another layup. I said, man. That's a thing. Like sometimes I be wanting to make. Are y'all trying to cut? Yeah. This sometimes shit? them niggas sit down early for no reason. For no reason. No re bro, I seen one nigga. Uh, I forgot who it was, bro. They had him getting a one and a half dunk. I was like, oh, that's all he do. Right. Yeah. Right. Shit. <laughs> 
I'm talking about the bitch had a wide open door. This nigga thought he was Michael Jordan. No, I ain't man, don't do that. <laughs> that was that bitch. Oh, I'm strong. Yeah. Hey, oh, I forgot to mention this. This is a good show to mention this on. So last year, right, mm -hmm. you know, I got a, uh, my wife has a nonprofit, Autism Advocates, because my son has autism. Shout out, shout so, out, say it. Autismadvocates.org, okay? Mm -hmm. We different, not less, blessed by the best. It's inclusion. Um, it's for these kids, man. Who, who we speak a voice for the voiceless because my son is non speaking, mm -hmm. but he's he, but you know, he's he communicates, he could, he, but he could like uh, yeah, he communicates, okay, yeah, okay. He communicates. We got pad, he communicates, but like, so I do stuff like okay, the Grizzlies was like every time the Grizzlies have like this year, I'm doing two things at the Grizzlies, like during the season, we have like a social media night, and then we have in like St. Jude where I'm playing, mm -hmm. we have time, I'll play. At halftime, like an all-star game, like all game why they don't have time of a mm -hmm. real game. So oh, I, I actually get a chance to go out there on the court and play. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Which, you know, it's, you know, I, I want to be a hoop anyway, so I love doing that. <laughs> so we're doing it again this year um, in March uh, of 24, March uh, 13. But um, so last year, I said, okay, I'm going to go to, I had these new merch for Autism Advocates. So I said, I'm going to go sit on the front row so I get TV seats so people can see me with my merch. And then they'll put me on the Jumbotron and all that or whatever so mm -hmm. I, people could buy merch. So John Moran had hurt his his hurt his uh his hand um last season, whatever, right? So he coming out, you know, and he grinned to dab everybody. So I just I I did a fist pump, but I did it in the in, in, in his, his hand, hand that hurt that hurt. Fam, do you know what's that uh overtime is the uh is the, is the uh website the, the, the Instagram? Yeah, Man, they, them folks will find my ass up on overtime, bro, because I had Dapped him. You could tell that it. Yeah, and he did it like this. He did it like this. He did it like this. I was like, I feel, I was like, I was like damn, I shouldn't have did that. Hey, you know mind, what? I was like, damn, white did people, that. white people don't, that's when you make them mad. Why the fuck would he do that? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Listen, I did that shit and immediately I regretted it. I was like, damn. <laughs> Some, I shouldn't have did that, but maybe nothing. Nobody didn't catch that. They caught whatever. that shit. Man, listen, right on immediately that shit on overtime. Like, it was like. And the fact he did. Yeah, he did this right here. I was like, damn. But he did make it up because I was like, I was like, damn, I wonder how you feel about it. And then after the game, we won and shit. You know what I'm saying? He came back over to me and uh, had dapped me and hugged me or whatever and shit. I was like, all right, cool. Like, cause yeah. I, 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 really, I really. They, I bet they ain't post that one. Listen, yeah, no, listen, I got it though. I made sure I posted it. Yeah, for saying, sure. Right, it was, it's it was, all love, nigga. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? He a real nigga. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, <laughs> and shit didn't hurt that man. Nah, it's just definitely, man. But I was definitely like, damn, like you know man. what I'm saying. But they caught it though. Yeah, you know, I had a little uh, GoPro on me. I was filming with a GoPro. I'm full like, man, what he? What kind of camera do he got? Right, I had a little bitty motherfucker. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying catching everything though, but. I, I love that that front that being right there in the game. I was talking about LeBron there. I was talking about LeBron. LeBron. <laughs> right. Before we get talking. out here, tell me some shit. You uh, tell me a couple like your your stories where you be like, I, I went too far there. Oh man, shit! How many of them I went through on 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 talking of talking? Okay, I yeah, get this one. I I got one on tape, and uh -huh. I was and I'm gonna send it to you when we get through with this. I bet. All right, so so <laughs> I went to uh that like I said my my best is so. Cliff, he passed away now, but I had met this cool white dude just sitting in the plane, you know what I mean? And we were talking about life uh -huh. and, and love and all that. Just, you know, you meet somebody on the plane, it's cool. Yeah. yeah. Man, this man said, man, I don't know why God want me to show you this, bro. He showed me his phone. He said, man, I just sold my company today, man. I sold it for 38 million. And he looked and showed me Bank of America. I was like, man, I got Bank of America. I've never seen them many numbers. God damn. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking like that. And he was like, he said, bro, if Memphis make the playoffs, I want you to come see me. Uh, in Oklahoma. So that we, that year, Memphis made the playoffs. So that's when Tony Allen and Zebo was yeah, playing. Yeah, okay. And that's when uh, uh, when James Harden was still playing against, playing with uh, Durant okay, and so Westbrook. Uh -huh. So I go out there to the joint, right? And I got, you know, my Memphis shit on. And um, I took my wife with me or whatever and shit. We sit in front row, you know what I mean? And um, we sitting with Cliff. So, you know, Memphis, you know, there's a gang going on. I'm revving for Memphis. So I'm right. like, I'm talking cash shit. On the sideline, they call a foul on one of my players. I'm getting up, nigga. Ref, that wasn't no foul and shit, right? And then, uh, so bam, Durant's go to the free throw line. He getting ready to shoot. It is quiet, like that hush challenge that a Beyonce concert. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you in their arena. Yeah, I'm in their arena. Yeah. And they, it's mute. They, shh. I said, Durant, miss it. Miss it. We got a nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that. <laughs> Listen, that man's, shh, shh, turned to me and said, shh, like that, right? Okay, bam. That started the whole fucking team. Man, them folk went on a fucking run. 
They would be in a beat by 20. They would up by 20. <laughs> Every time somebody shot a three, Jane Harden had in my face. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. About, not every, Westbrook do something. They come right to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about like... Because you front row, they hear you. And I'm sitting there with my wife. I'm like, yeah. y'all just respect me one more time. I was found with these niggas, man. And my wife sitting right here, man. Cut this shit out, man. I, you know what I'm saying? But I went... I so went. Durant heard you, so he yeah. started to say it. That man hit the free throw, looked at me and said... I put the whole team on your ass. And I mean, the whole team... Man, they probably, they probably laughed so hard in the and locker room about that game, shit. After the game, they dapped me up and shit, oh, okay. though. And it was love, but I'm sure they did. They, yeah, they needed you man, to do that. They got, yeah. you got to do that. Listen, listen. Yeah. them folks got on my ass. You poked Paul. the bear, man. I poked the bear. Boy. And them folks, man, them folks, I, 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 can see, I got this shit on film. When I'm, talking, I'm, cause, I'm talking to the ref so damn bad on the calls and shit, man. Yelling and shit and all that, whatever and shit, bro. Them folks got on my ass, bro. It was like, yeah, man. That probably been your favorite Memphis team, you would say? Zebo and uh, Tony Allen. Yeah, Zebo, Tony, man, Tony Allen was such a beast, bro. Like, dog. man, he's just a dog. Damn, niggas forgot about how good Tony Allen was. Yeah, the Zebo was just. Yeah, long I, got, down, I, got, Tony it, it, I got Tony yeah, Allen 2.0 with Marcus Smart, man. It's same yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, yes, basically. Yes, yeah. yes. You Tony know what I mean? Allen, though, like. T, I, T, T, Kobe said Tony Allen was the best defender. He did say yeah, that. Yeah, but I'm saying, yeah, like, for. For him to just say Tony Allen 2.0, come on, man. Don't just... You said Reggie Miller's better than James Harden. I did. Nah, true. that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all... They, they forgot yeah. what Reggie right. Miller did with this shit. Yeah, man, yeah. I agree. Straight up. To Spike I, Lee. No, I, I, I tell you further. I, I think Cheryl Miller was better than... Uh, than, than uh... <laughs> All right, let's wrap it up. Wrap it up. Hey. Wrap it up. On that note, man, <laughs> we appreciate... I can't vote hey, man, no thank y'all for having me, man. Thank you for having me, man. It's me, the Vote Podcast, thank man. Y'all, y'all man. make sure y'all tell them where they can I see that at. Uh, hey, man. Uh, season two coming uh, immediately. Kim Folk Podcast. We going to Tubi, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, we on. We Shut on. Up, oh, yeah, we on Tubi. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah we, we, we <laughs> the ink still went, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just uh, did a deal, but we gonna uh, be the first podcast over there on Tubi. So you see, uh, season uh, we're gonna have season one on Tubi. Then we come back with season two over there. Um, and then we got some, we got some real some other other um, surprises coming, man. So we gonna keep this. Po- I, I love what we are doing as podcasters and and what we controlling our narrative and right. we we the news nigga we the media you know uh, what i'm saying how like, we want to say yeah, it yeah man. how we want to say it man man y'all had pulled up when we was in memphis to the, uh carlos miller shout, oh, yeah. Out, yeah. shout yeah. out carlos shout out carlos yeah, carlos yeah, miller so. man on, on. all right that's good that's good, yeah. that good. <laughs> 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 no nah, all those side man man when carlos did the um podcast with y'all and just drop y'all was dropping gym like left and right it be shit like that that people don't see where it's like you know what I'm saying? You're going to get the comedy. You're going to get the rap. You're going to get all this, what we're talking about. But sometimes niggas got to hear that real shit where, yeah. where men just sitting down and just talking about life and yeah. shit. You know what it's, I'm saying? It's, it's bigger than just like yeah, sports, it's... all that type of shit. Just uh, it's, even it's... how y'all explain how y'all met and certain shit. Niggas watching like, boy, we just like them niggas. Yeah. No. And that, yeah, keep going. Keep going, man. Look at keep y'all. See you two look, on two. Man, look, and look and at y'all. Charles, these look. niggas around here about to give up. Man, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Listen, and I'm, I'm, I I'm, looking at, I'm, I'm <laughs> and I'm looking at y'all building over here too, man. Hey, hey, man, I love it, man. It's inspiring. Yeah, it's, it's, it's inspiring, bro. It really is, bro. Like you know, what I mean, it, it truly is, bro. But my mama used to tell me, my mama' birthday was today. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Her heavenly birthday. Happy and she used to tell me this: sure. you hang around, still nine, her birthday, yeah, still her birthday. Yeah, it was a heavenly birthday. Uh, you hang around nine broke people, you be the ten person broke. You hang around nine people. That's getting to it, you're gonna be the 10th person getting to it. So it's like, look around, see who you around. I'm around, this is what I'm around. So get what? It's contagious. You know I gotta saying? fall into it. You gotta fall into Man, it. Man, do you bro. know how many shows I done got? Cause Los, they couldn't afford Los. Yeah. Nigga, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, before they even, they were like, man, we, uh, you, I mean, man, Los ain't coming for that. Yeah. Would you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, man, shout out Broken Play, man. We appreciate y'all pushing up, man. What's up, man? Indeed, man. Hell yeah. Nah, that was good. I know we went over, but that shit was good. That shit was flowing. Yeah, y'all edited. Yeah.